Welcome to Kenyatta Airport uh, here in Nairobi, Kenya and today we are going to Uganda for New Year's Eve. Quiet, Kenya. Never sit on the back of the flight, that's where it shakes the most. And of course... Back of the plane, worst seat ever. <laughs> Never book on the back. <laughs> <laughs> so we have gotten a chicken sandwich from UK. From Italy, I'm from Italy, yeah. Italia. Italia. Yeah. Rome. Rome. The capital of the world. Milan. <laughs> Not Milan. Uh, in Italy we don't really like Rome and Milano. We hate each other. <laughs> So we'll do up Lake Victoria down there, you can see tiny islands, the land, we are about to land in Entebbe, Entebbe is like one hour away from the capital, but why did you build the airport so far from the capital? The capital? It should good land, good land. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, the land is good, it's flat, probably it's good to land. But Kampala? Okay, okay. Kampala is too messy. It's super crowded. Yeah. Overcrowded. Too many buildings. <laughs> oh, beautiful. I love tiny islands. National Airport. Uganda. Standing up, you should your seatbelt. Stay your table. So we are landing on water inside the Lake Victoria. Did you see like an airplane fell in the lake a few weeks ago? Let's hope it's not our time. <laughs> it was in Tanzania. I don't know which map was it. Yeah, I think it was Prism Air. But it feels like um, we are going inside the lake. <laughs> no. No, no. <laughs> Hopefully not. But the airport is inside. Oh, so that, that place looks like Italy. That side of Uganda, yeah? This side. Yeah, and there is a region called Tuscany. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We see the land. <laughs> okay. That's safe, hopefully. So guys, security checked in that currency exchange they wanted to scam me. I got the SIM card but it needs it needs 10 minutes to be activated. Once it will be activated I will try to get the Uber. So inside Uber So guys, you might be wondering how the hell Michele Ponte is able to afford such a place? <laughs> the simple answer is I didn't pay for it. This is uh, probably a Christmas gift from Alex and Julia of the channel Reporter Fi Media. So go subscribe to their channel, to Alex's channel. And uh, oh my gosh, look what we got. This is too much luxury. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. I never, 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 never slept in such a place. So there are one, two towels. What there is over here? Ah, oh, yes, you can dry your hair. Something I've never done in a while. Well, multiple toilet papers, napkins, there is a beautiful shower, there is another towel, there are multiple shampoos, let's make the shower dirty, so let's see what do they have, I mean, so many things which probably I don't even know how to use, so we can close the door over here, and maybe if there is a girl, she can have some privacy, but we have no girl tonight, and... Uh, 
I don't have girls as often as people think in the vlogs. I mean, it does happen, but not so often. Like, I'm a good man. And look what a bed. Let me, let me, let me test it. Oh. I'll be so spoiled for only one day that I will not be able to adapt anymore to the normal life. <laughs> This is just crazy. And there is also this huge wardrobe. Let me check it out. It has two doors. So over here we can hang stuff. No, sorry. Over here we can hang stuff. Oh my gosh. We can also make our shorts. No, I mean shirts straight. There is an alarm clock over there. What else do we have? Look, huge TV, huge TV. You can just lay on the bed the whole day if you wish. And then, oh, there is a fridge. And there is a lock for the kids. And the fridge is empty. Okay, good, good. Now we see money. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there is a safe. That's actually pretty cool. What else do you need in life? Oh, let me not destroy. And then, check this out. Multiple sockets, multiple types, huge menus. I still have no idea about the current prices and they probably need to have dinner. I'm probably gonna walk around the city to have dinner because I'm very fear that the hotel prices were gonna be too expensive. But what the reporter for media, Alex did, was not only he gave me a view of Kampala, he also gave me a swimming pool, he also gave me late checkout, and practically, he also gave me two breakfasts. So tomorrow, I can eat for two people. Just crazy, just absolutely crazy. I can eat for two people. Oh, and there is another lamp, which I forgot to turn on when I came inside. How does it work? Oh, there is something, there is a button here. Let's make it this place nicer. Here we go. Now, I will have to send to Alex and Julia some photos of what they gifted me. Thank you so much. I will never forget it. I'm super grateful and I really do appreciate it. This is the best Christmas gift I received this year. It's only, it's also the only Christmas gift I received this year, but, <laughs> oh, come on. What a view, what a view. I hope, I hope someone is gonna swim over here. I mean, I could do it myself, but come on. <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, and there is also coffee, uh, multiple things. I hope these ones are for free, they're probably for free. There is a boiler and multiple mirrors. So maybe let's go explore the rest of the hotel. Let's go check if there is a rooftop, I don't know. Let's go see. Thank you, thank you so much. Go subscribe to Reporter 5 Media when then I'm gonna meet him in China. I'm trying to use this car to go to the rooftop, but apparently it's not allowed. <laughs> let's go check the swimming pool. So here we are, floor one. That's Kampala. That's the swimming pool from 8 until 6 p.m. Oh, so they just closed it. They completely just closed it. And over there, somewhere, it's my room. Maybe that window. Well, I am a bit unlucky. But I can probably open this. And check the view so guys probably the only way to go to that rooftop is by walking and uh, i cannot do it because my leg is broken i didn't tell you about that it's not really broken broken but uh, i have injured my calf and therefore i am in a tragic situation where every step is just painful i was playing football with some Maasai kids and uh, it got pulled or uh, I don't know, whatever happened, happened. Uh, I stayed at home for one week. I'm recovering. I am much better than when it happened. And by the way, no photography allowed. How is that even possible? It is a park. Shanghai. Fitness center.
Just wanted to see how it looks. <laughs> I am not going to disturb the girls training, but maybe I should. Anyway, I need to find food. I just found the most crazy thing ever. I can use speed internet, but they will make you pay $5 if you want super, super high speed. $5 per day. What I'm gonna do now, is try to withdraw some money and go find a place where to eat so apparently the Hilton is next to this huge mall and it might be the right place where to eat and uh, while eating I will tell you how I was almost scammed three times in my first hours in the Uganda So guys, it doesn't seem like people stop uh, to let others uh, cross uh, the road. Jesus, this part of Uganda looks much more modern than many areas of Kenya. And uh, if they do love shawarma, that's absolutely amazing. Look at this. So there is a fountain. KFC is full of kids. Wow. They do have a car for two. Okay. So that's what we got today, hummus with shawarma beef, it comes with two pieces of bread and mango. You said that you made it. <laughs> so you know, I'm eating Lebanese food in, oh my phone, in uh, this country, in Uganda. I completely forgot where I am, but look at the view. And um, by the way, that one is my room over there. So while we wait for the food to get ready, let me tell you how I was scammed almost three times in my first hour in Uganda. Uh, thank you. How, how do I say thank you in Uganda? Wewari. Eh? Wewari. Wewari. Yes. Okay, thank you. Wewari. So I was at the airport, I saw the change, it was uh, 3650 for uh, 100 euros. And I'm like, ah, this is not good. I cannot accept this change. I'm gonna change only 50. And the lady said, okay, if you give me 100, I'm gonna do a better change. She did some calculation and she arrived to 3850. I was giving her first 50, so I added another 50 to reach the 100. And suddenly she did another calculation. The calculation was bringing us to 3650 again. And I told to her, please lady, you're scamming me. <laughs> Give me back the 50 euro and change me just 50. And uh, she smiled, she gave me back the 50 euros, and that was the first scam. I was able to avoid the first scam, but I missed out on the following two. One of the two was the taxi driver, which is the Uber driver. First of all, I booked Uber via card because I didn't have enough cash, and it's kind of expensive because the city is very, very far. So the driver wasn't happy that. Uh, uh, he accepted the payment by card. Oh wow! Guys, check out this beauty. I'm so happy to be in Uganda. Oh my gosh! Check this out. It's Lebanese food, but who cares? Okay, guys, I need to eat. I'm gonna tell you about the Uber driver later. Let me try this meat first. I also feel like I'm gonna destroy this telephone by the end of the video, but. Here we go, only meat, not without hummus, but let's try it with hummus. Take some hummus. Mm. Uganda, you are winning my heart, and I didn't try Ugandan food. <laughs> so I have two pieces of bread. I could put some shawarma inside the bread with the hummus, and make a mini shawarma or a kebab in some country. Mm. Gold. I just wish the shawarma was a bit warmer, but it's perfect. So guys, I never had the chance to finish the Uber uh, scam story. Probably I will finish it later or tomorrow, because tonight, while I was up there, I got invited. Thank you. No, no, no need. I got invited by a girl to go to a club, 
and uh, she sat in front of me, she started talking to me, and I'm like, what this girl wants? And she proposed a club, so I'm like, okay, let's go. So I'm gonna go to the hotel, leave the bag, undress, drink this Red Bull, and let's go clubbing. It's New Year's Eve. These five star hotels are totally from another planet. I'm gonna fix my shirt before going out, if I don't burn uh, the entire room. Let's try with the left hand. Okay, but it's working, it's working. It's much more straight. Oh my. Beautiful. I have a straight shirt, almost. Now the other side. This is the before, this one is the after. Yes, I'm good. Reporter 5 Media paid so much money for this hotel that I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna do every single activity. Swimming pool, going to the gym, and especially ironing. Can you see the beautiful result? Well, it happened because I worked many, many years in a family shop and sometimes I had to fix the stuff that the whole wholesale shops were selling us. And now I'm able to be sold or the shirt is able to be sold, whatever, doesn't matter. <laughs> Here you can see the breakfast, there are 100,000 options, juice is all you can eat and uh, I'm gonna make sure it's gonna be also my lunch and dinner just to respect the uh, reporter family that paid for this, so I'm gonna make it work. Meatballs. Of course, uh, I've already done a disaster, I totally need to sleep and that's the video. So despite being wasted, the, the juice will save me and I befriended every waitress, super funny people over here. Uh, they work amazing people. By the way, they do also have a huge selection of cereals. Before I wasn't able to speak, but now I have drinks and food. Guys, I am absolutely back tucking the meal. These meatballs are spicy. Guys, I should probably head to the swimming pool. There are three girls. What am I doing over here? Editing. I need to edit YouTube videos. That's my life. That's my job. <laughs> Nothing else matters. So look at my eyes. Look how tired I am. <laughs> this is such a mess in such a messy room. But it was an honor to sleep here. Thank you so much, Alex, for paying for this room. So I did work a bit, and now no ladies in the swimming pool. A man shouldn't make such mistakes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I need to shoot something. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Swimming pool. Let's... Let's see. Let's see if with my broken voice and some Red Bull, we'll be able to tell you exactly what happened yesterday. Yes, with also the sunglasses put in a very, very weird position. Anyway, there is a gate. They did use all the dry towels, so I think we're gonna stay here for a while. Also, we're gonna do a show, a fat white man in a country of perfectly shaped girls. Beautiful. And someone spit at them in the pool, or it looks like sperm. Oh no, I cannot swim over there. What the hell is that? So, with this very distorted camera, yesterday, um, I went to party. The party was crazy. I'm not gonna tell you if I brought someone to the hotel because Alex paid for this room. And <laughs> okay, let's change topic. So there is actually somebody watching me from the upstairs windows and it's a lady. I'm not sure if I should be able to take out this shirt and show my, my body. And there is also the cleaning lady at the windows over there. And I know I'm not supposed to be shy because I'm a vlogger, I'm talking to a camera and everybody's probably thinking that I'm crazy. But I got used to talking to the camera and I didn't get used to my current body shape. 
So how do you avoid the shooting your own belly? You simply film randomly, anything else. And when you turn it, when you turn the camera, it's just at this level. You can see my boobs, probably. Some hay, I'm Italian. And that's the view. Let's see if the water is cold. Oh, it's kind of cold, but it's probably good uh, for your own health. And then you go inside. Oh my gosh. It is actually cold. So we need to swim a bit. That's probably the main problem. Swimming. Yeah. Or placing the camera in the right place. So what do we do now? Let's see if the other side is not as cold. I wanted to tell you the Uber story, how this guy scammed me twice. And I thought I was a smart traveler, but apparently I still make mistakes. Firstly, I do not know the Uber up enough. Apparently, if the Uber will tell you a road, the tolls are included in the Uber fee. Which is normally in every country, but I thought in Africa things were different. I thought in Africa Uber wasn't counting the tolls and uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, sometimes it's better to take bolt uh, especially countries like south america and so on like <laughs> south america is not a country i didn't i didn't even drink that much yesterday but anyway so there are many places where uber is not able to count the tolls so i thought okay if the driver is asking me to pay the toll i'm gonna pay the toll because it's probably excluded from the app he also lied to me, telling me that Uber was taking the road that uh, was not the expressway, but uh, Uber does take the expressway from the airport. So he asked me 5k for the toll to go, 5k for the toll to go back, and I gave him 20k and I said you can keep 10k as a tip. And I thought, okay, it's New Year's Eve, let's make a gift, it was Christmas a few days ago, all will be good. But then I was scammed once again when I got here to the hotel. So he dropped me at the hotel, but he didn't stop the Uber up. He kept going randomly for 10 minutes. He brought uh, his uh, cows in that was in the car. And uh, I don't know, maybe they went shopping. So I got charged also for the minutes so that they were doing their own things. He was not accepting any other trip. He was just getting me to pay for their shopping. And therefore, even if I hate to do that, I had to contact the Uber app and let's see how things will be sold. Anyway, these are my last moments in a pretty expensive hotel. Very expensive, completely out of my budget. One night here is probably like one week in any other place where I would normally stay. So let me swim a bit and I'll get back to you in a second. Look at all these pigeons coming to drink. Let's, let me see if I can scare them away. No, <laughs> maybe I can go down into the water and see. This water doesn't destroy the ice. There is probably no chloro. Now I feel much better and warmer. Okay, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I became the official unpaid photographer of all these ladies, so I better go work on my videos. <laughs> Today we are gonna try some Ugandan food and it's gonna be my first time. But first, let's leave the Hilton, this expensive hotel which I'm not really able to afford and uh, let's go to a $20 hotel. <laughs> the funny thing is that the two hotels are uh, 300 meters apart from each other on the exact same road and uh, the $20 one has even a better location because it is in front of this mall. So if you need anything uh, from Carrefour, you want to buy food, you want to cook your own things, this hotel has a better location but <laughs> doesn't have a kitchen. It is incredibly hot today in Uganda. No, no, thank you. Two large pizzas for $10. And four burgers for like $7.50. Well, 
maybe one day. Not today. And here we are, Hotel Akacha. And there is also Akacha ATM if you need to withdraw money. But if you really need to withdraw money in Africa and you need a big amount, you don't want to waste $5 for every transaction. Inside the mall, on the side of the parking lot, there is an eco bank ATM, and that's where you can withdraw without paying fees. So, Hotel Akasha. Let's go in. Hello? Uh, I have a reservation booking. Oh, this oven. Do you actually use this oven? Pizza? Yeah, for pizza. No. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This looks very good. Thank you. Welcome to the hotel. It is actually $22 a night, breakfast included, but I forgot to ask about breakfast. Here is my bed. It's soft at the right point if you have back problems in the meaning that uh, your back will stay straight and it will be much much better oh there is a fan over there which i actually didn't notice before here is a tv there is also a wardrobe Ooh. oh that's an interesting way bottle for the electricity i like it i like it and here hotel effect pizza menu Wow, I think they were cooking pizza in the oven that was down there, but nowadays they left the business to ne the nearby restaurant that offers everything. Over here is the toilet to turn on the hot water, you need to press this red button. Then, hello, you need to come here, turn it completely to the other side, and then you need to turn this one. Oh, and they also gave me a soap. Very nice of them. Uh, I am pretty happy with it. Especially for the budget, I hope the bag and stuff will stay safe. And that's probably it for now. Let's go eat. <laughs> I was supposed to shoot a video with a beautiful lady today and make some street food, but instead <laughs> I ended up with Black Wind Traveler, King Kaya, and uh, they are Nice to meet you. And uh, just to teach the audience at home, avoid malaria by drinking quinine. It's inside the tonic water. You're gonna get fat too, but at least at least you're not gonna get malaria. <laughs> <laughs> malaria is bad. <laughs>